Welcome to this section dedicated for learning decision making. Now before we start, let us understand what is decision making. Decision making statements help us to take decision in the real world, in the real life as well as in programming. Now these are some of the decision making statements in the real world that we undertake in our day to day life. Let's look at the first one. If it's raining outside, then we take an umbrella with us. So this is a decision making statement, right? In this statement, if it's raining outside, this is the condition, all right? So this condition can be true or false, right? It may be raining outside or it may not be raining outside. So if this statement is true, if this condition is true, then only then we will take an umbrella. If it is raining outside, if that is true, then we take an umbrella. So this is one of the decision making statement that we encounter in our day to day life. Let's look at second one. If the room is dark, so this is the condition, room is dark is the condition. If the room is dark, what do you do? Then you turn on the light. Okay. If the room is dark, you turn on the light. So if this condition room is dark is true, only then you turn on the light. So this condition can be either true or false. If it is true, you will do something. If it is false, you will do something else. This is how decision works. Okay. Let's look at the third example. If the traffic light becomes red, this is the condition. That the condition is if the traffic light becomes red, what do you do if it is red? You stop your car because the traffic light is red. Okay. So these are some of the decision making statements that we encounter in our day to day life. Similarly, we can see uh, there are a lot of decision making statements that you will have to use while writing a software or while, while, while doing programming. Right. So let's look at some of the decision making statements in some softwares. So first let's talk about YouTube. In YouTube, monetization is not enabled by default. It is kept disabled. Let's say you are having a channel on YouTube like I am having my channel on YouTube. You may have a channel on YouTube, right? So by default, the monetization is disabled. Okay. So when is monetization enabled is only when these two conditions are met. These two must be true. That is, the total watch time of your videos in the past 12 months should be greater than 4000 hours. Okay, so you should have greater than 4000 hours watch time in the last 12 months. Okay, this is one of the condition. And condition number B is your subscriber count should be greater than or equals to 1000. That means you should have at least of 1000 subscribers in your channel. Only when these two conditions are met. So these are the conditions, right? So this is, these are the conditions. There are two conditions here. Only if both of these conditions are met, then your monetization is enabled. So this is one of the application of decision making statement in a real world software in YouTube. Okay. Now let's talk about the word processor software. Like you may have used Google Docs or you may have used MS Word, right? So these are word processor software, word processing software. Now, if you have to make a text bold, what do you do in word processing software? To make a text bold, you'll have to click or press on this bold icon, B icon, right? If you click on this B icon or the bold icon, the text that you have selected will be made bold, right? So here the decision making is happening, right? So what is decision making here? If you press this icon, so this is the condition. The condition is if you press this icon, pressing the icon is a condition. If that is true, what do you do? You make the text bold. So this is the statement that you execute only if the condition becomes true. So these are some of the uh, real world examples of decision making. Now in C programming, there are different kind of decision making statements available, right? These are mostly five kind of decision making statements available. We're going to have a dedicated lecture for each of these topics, uh, the subsequent lectures. The first one is one way decision making using a simple if statement. The second one is two way decision making that is if else statement. Okay. So this is a two way decision making if else statement. And the third one is multi way decision making. So this is like you know more than two. Okay. So this is multi way decision making using else if ladder. Okay. Don't worry about this term. So we're going to discuss this in more details there later in subsequent lectures. Okay. Number four is the conditional operator. So this is the operator that will help us to make decision. Okay. So this is also a ternary operator having three operands. So we are going to see in a dedicated lecture how this conditional operator really works. And the last one is the switch case. Okay. This is also used for multi-way decision making. Okay. What is a one-way decision making? What is a multi-way decision making? 
what are the examples for each of these decision making statements you know even the demonstration of the code we are going to do in our subsequent lectures so until then stay tuned